Hi everyone, today we'd like to share something fun with you. The company Chronictron sent me this kit. It's an acrylic painting kit and it's, uh, it's a complete starter kit, basically. It comes with an easel, a canvas, a color wheel. You don't often find a color wheel in a, in a starter kit. It has a palette, some brushes, some acrylic paint in tubes, and a paint by number also for you to practice before you paint on your canvas. So they sent me this to try it out and to share with you. So we're gonna open the box and see it, what's inside. So we've got the uh, plastic palette here. It has quite a few wells in it. The color wheel, I'm, I'm really surprised there is a color wheel and it's, it's a happy surprise. We got a, a lot of brushes here, although I hope this one is okay. But um, yeah, there's all, all sizes, shapes. There's only a couple of round ones. A lot of them are just flat, which I prefer using with acrylic anyway. There's a filbert and a couple of angled ones. Um, it says high quality, so we'll try this out. And then we have this paint set uh, with numbers on them. So I'm guessing it's for the paint by number. There's the box of acrylic paint and there's 12 tubes in it. They're all 12 milliliters. We have an easel. I'm glad there's a string that's attached, that way it prevents your easel from en ending up flat on the table. It's really nice. It's a really nice little tabletop easel. A little thank you note from the Chronic Tron family. Here we have the sample for the paint by number. It's really pretty. I like the colors. Here's the paint by number board. So it's a it's cardboard. But it's really just for practice. A little warm-up before you actually do your real acrylic painting. And here we have a canvas, and actually on the other side, there's a smaller canvas. So there are two canvases. And let me tell you, I think this is an 8x10. That is correct. And the big one is 11 by 14 So that's a pretty good size for a starter kit. And I like that there are actually two canvases. So what do we have here? These are the directions for the paint by number and basically how to use the acrylic paint. That's pretty neat. So for a start, I will be using this and this to check it out. Um, I wonder if this is the same paint as we have in here. I know that it is a starter kit for beginners and this is probably why all the colors are already mixed, but I think it would have been a nice touch if instead there was instructions on how to mix all these colors with these paint tubes. That said, once you've used these colors for the paint by numbers painting, you still have all these tubes left for your actual paintings with the two canvases. So it's not so bad. All right, I'm gonna get all set up so that I can get started. And I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun. Before I started painting, I decided to read the instructions, the how to paint by numbers. And it gave a few tips that I thought were pretty interesting to paint one color at a time, for instance, and to start with the larger areas and go towards the smaller areas, going from top to bottom. The reason behind it is that you would kind of warm up painting the larger areas first. And then when you go to the smaller areas, then you already have a feel for the paint and the brush so you're more comfortable. 
and then also you go from the top to the bottom just like when you write so that you don't smudge the paint although it's acrylic paint and it dries really fast what I planned to do was to start with the lightest color going all the way to the darkest color and it just so happened that it's exactly how the numbers worked out so the number one was the lightest color and all the way to number 12 with the darkest color so it was a pretty good plan and I just picked one color at a time. I painted everything that had number one on it then everything that had number two all the way to number 12. I did not follow the tips of painting the larger areas first. I really just went from top to bottom just because I'm used to using paint and brushes so I didn't feel the need to do it. The cardboard that the numbers are printed on is very nice, it's very good quality, it's thick and it has a slight texture to it, almost like using a canvas really. But acrylic paint is good on canvas, it's also good on paper, so it worked out great. The paint itself is really nice and creamy, I was pleasantly surprised. All the colors are nice and opaque, I particularly like the blues because those were the most opaque ones and it was really fun to paint with them. Because I like using acrylic paint with filbert or flat brushes, I wish there had been some more smaller ones, maybe a smaller filbert, because a lot of the areas to paint were really, really small. But I ended up painting most of it with the, that one filbert that was in the kit, and it's a number four. What I like with those brushes is that you can really um, shape the bristles um, any way you want. So it's great for corners or larger areas or rounded areas. I had a lovely time working on this project. It's just as relaxing as doing some coloring in a coloring book with colored pencils. The only difference is the, that using a, a paintbrush and paint. It took me many many hours to finish this. I think about six or seven hours. So I guarantee you hours of enjoyment and that's only for the paint by number. You still have two other canvases to use to make your own paintings. If there was one thing I would like to see different is only about the colors that came in the kit. Not the tubes, I haven't tried the tubes. I'm guessing they're the same paint as the little containers with the numbers on them. But those containers, the number 10 is a brown and it really doesn't look like anything on the model. It should have been a dark reddish purple. So that brown doesn't fit in that painting. It doesn't look correct. I think there, there's been a mistake. I think it should have been another color instead of that brown on, the, on that number 10. But all in all, I think that painting is really, really pretty. I love all the colors. I think they look very pretty together. So if you're looking for a fun kit with acrylic paint, I highly recommend this one. I did not use the easel because I was not going to be able to film any of my painting because of the angle. But it seems like a pretty sturdy tabletop easel. So thank you again Chronic Tron for sending me this kit to try out. It was a lot of fun to paint with it. And if any of you is interested, I'll put the link of where to find it under this video in the description box. Thank you all for stopping by. I'll see you soon with another video. Have a wonderful day everyone. Bye bye.